All right, hello everybody. Welcome back. Today we're playing some breakers, but this is not about the breakers. We have gotten our Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour, and we've gotten a lot of good stuff to talk about. I, however, <laughs> most YouTubers are posting their reactions to the news, which, if you didn't know, if you live under a rock, we are getting a new installment in the Budokai Tenkaishiki series. We are getting four. And it's awesome, it's amazing, it's beautiful. Uh, I had to wake up, I had to force myself to, to aliven myself to record this video. I don't have an Iraq, I don't have a reaction to it. Everyone's posting their reactions, I don't have a reaction to it. So, um, <laughs> I forgot <laughs> that the battle hour was even happening. Uh, I missed a whole day, and at that point I just gave up. And I was just watching anime. And out of nowhere, it's like, hey, do you know Budokai Tenkaichi 4 is coming? And I was like, <coughs> huh? And then I looked on uh, Twitter, and um, there, 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 there it was. <laughs> and I, I, uh, <coughs> I wasn't, uh, I wasn't entirely prepared. Um, and, and even if I did record my reaction, it was kind of like, uh... It wasn't that great of a reaction because I didn't really have much reaction to it, mainly because I was just like kind of shocked and also just like it was so casually dropped on me that it was like, okay, you know, <clears throat> so, you know, it's kind of like one of those things, you know, it's like you got this big awesome reveal trailer that you could have like not known about and just seen and then you have someone just casually telling you it's happening. It's like, all right, well, but anyways. It's coming. Uh, that's not all they announced. Um, it is kind of funny. You know, they announced a lot of things for everyone's games. And we are playing the one game that uh, didn't get an announcement. <laughs> I don't think Breakers announced anything. Um, so, uh, and uh, I, just, I just, it really shows how great the game's going. Uh, me sitting in this fucking connection establishing for the past, like, two and a half minutes. But we'll get into a match eventually. I'm not going to cut, though, because I have a lot to talk about. Um, Xenoverse announced everything we already knew. <laughs> they they basically they gave us gameplay on Orange Piccolo and Cell Max, which Cell Max is not playable. He's just going to be a raid boss. Uh, Piccolo is. And you'd think Battle Hour, the biggest event of the year, Dragon Ball Games. Think you'd announce the second character, but they didn't. Uh, fighters basically again also announced everything we already know, which is uh, they announced uh, that the net code, the yeah, rollbacks coming. Uh, okay, I love this game. I'm just gonna queue up as a survivor. Hopefully, I'll get a game faster. Um, so yeah, essentially, that's kind of how it is. Um, they also announced a balance patch, but again, that's not what we're, that's not what we're here for. And I know I've been sitting here like, yeah, we're going to play some breakers, but, and I know I've been sitting here and it's been like three minutes and I'm still not in a game, but I don't feel like restarting it. So, um, we're going to keep going. Uh, <coughs> Budokan Tenkaichi 4. I'm a little late. I understand that. Um. Hold on. Uh, it's early in the morning. I feel sick. Um, I'm a little late. I understand that. Uh, but that's why I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <sighs> Everyone's probably already posted their video on it by the time it comes up. But I'm gonna post what I think and hope is gonna go with the game. It's gonna happen. What's gonna be in the game? When it's gonna come out? Uh, all that type of stuff. Uh, hopefully I don't like die of sickness before I uh, get it all out um, <clears throat> so one thing that I think is the release date um, don't don't hold me to it don't like don't like put me don't put me on blast and go you said it you said this would get no I don't this is my speculation I think going by what most Dragon Ball games have done, 
the game might come out late this year begin or maybe early next year i think it's that close now again the only reason i doubt myself even just the tiniest bit is because they didn't give us much <laughs> they didn't give us much they gave us like a transformation and now to be fair it can be deceiving i know if you are with nintendo they did the pikmin reveal trailer and it's like oh shit this might not even come out next year this looks like they're like they didn't give us anything they could have so much that they aren't telling us and then what the next direct which is like three to four months later they gave us a whole ass like trailer with a whole bunch of gameplay bosses features in it and then announced that it was coming out in like what like five months you know what i'm saying like basically just because they didn't give us anything doesn't mean that they don't have anything <clears throat> remember breakers came out this was a slotted dragon ball game we don't have a dragon ball game for the next slot which i believe is this year early next year um now of course it is possible that this wasn't just a bondi thing but a dimps thing as well dimps is probably also working on a next dragon ball game it, it wouldn't surprise me if bondi has all these companies working on different dragon ball games and then it's like all right which one's further in development this one all right this is the next one's coming out you guys keep working you know um so for all we know this could be the next like the next five years for dragon ball games could be beautiful because like for all we know we can get this this year and then copium xenoverse 3 next year you never know i don't know what dims is working on but they're probably working on something i mean breakers is uh i don't know man <laughs> i'm still not in a game and it's like we were like six minutes into this video i'm still not in a game it's gonna be me just talking in the breakers lobby because i just can't get into a fucking game <laughs> but anyways i think it's gonna come out relatively soon it wouldn't surprise me if in two months they hit us with here's gameplay here's a release date it's coming out soon it wouldn't surprise me because that's kind of how they've done things sometimes i mean i'm pretty sure that's what they did with universe right um <clears throat> so that's something you can keep in mind uh, don't look forward to that, because, I mean, you never know. They could give us a release date. It's like, guys, it's like late 2024. Like, uh, But, I mean, this year is a possibility. It is. Just don't hold me to that. <laughs> now, what I want to see in the game. All right. There's a couple things. <laughs> Obviously, there's the norm. I don't have to hope. That there's good graphics there's gonna be good graphics updated quality is a must but it's also something we're getting we saw as much from the reveal trailer um one thing that i hope they do is they keep the roster like i hope they don't get a new raw i hope they improve upon the roster that we have in three which i know is quite difficult because <clears throat> i assume they built the game from the ground up I highly doubt they use the same engine. It's possible. But the way the game looked from that trailer, I think it's quite impossible to use the same engine. Because it's like, how do you, how do you truly like, I, I just like, I don't, I don't think it's possible to get something like that without redoing all the models. So I am kind of fearful that they won't. Because, like, I think it'd be awesome to still... I think it'd be awesome to still have the models from... Thank you. Oh, okay. Um, I think it'd still be awesome to have the same characters from 3. Break.
die. <laughs> oh, I'm kicking his ass. Anyways, um, I'm just like, you know, wallowing in my own hype here. It's off. <laughs> Here goes. I'm just hey, it's hard to focus. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I do hope that they improve upon the roster they already have. Um, obviously we are gonna get Dragon Ball Super. It was kind of just revealed, so that's something to look forward to. Um, getting into the things that like kind of like the things that I want to see. Story mode. We have never gotten a Dragon Ball Super story mode. And this is the game. I think this is the game. I highly doubt that they're not going to have a story mode. Because all the Budokai Tenkaichi games have a story mode. If they're improving and adding upon the old Budokai games, it makes sense that they have a story. Now... It depends on... Uh, it's kind of up in the air. Because on one hand, it could give us Budokai Tenkaichi 2 story. Very in-depth, very good, very um, detailed. They could also give us Budokai Tenkaichi 3 story, which is very loose, very just all over, and doesn't really have any you know <clears throat> doesn't really have any consistency to it essentially um so uh, that's just one thing i'm hoping for oh shit <clears throat> hey frieza All right, if you're gonna take your time, I'm gonna take my time. Hey, great! You found another power key. This freeze is gonna chase me down. Um. I okay, okay, all right, okay, okay, all right, okay. Okay, I got you. All right. Okay. All right. Okay, breakers. All right. All right. Okay. Well, all right. We're dealing with this now. Uh, I might just. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just. I'm just gonna. All right. Um. So, basically, right. We're working without volume now. Uh, I fucking hate the breakers. God damn it, man. Uh. So. One another thing that I that I hope besides the story is diving into stuff that's not Budokai Tenkaichi. I hope they take elements from Raging Blast. Now, again, if this is a possibility that I could do for any game, Raging Blast Three could be a possibility. But I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Uh, can I like here? Is that a thing I can do yet, or is like Frieza permanently killed my game? Okay, all right. So I'm just gonna just gonna keep that off. Um, which kind of nerfs me because I can't hear the heartbeat <laughs> but uh essentially right i want to see something like raging blast customization system so like um in raging blast there is the the customization basically works as you can oh he's gonna shoot me uh you can basically customize all the costumes and all of the uh different uh, moves that they're using now in Budokai Tenkaichi 3 you could customize your costumes and by co customize I mean they just change them right they have different costumes but uh what I mean by moves is in Raging Blast you had your four moves right Budokai Tenkaichi 3 or 4 could be the same it could be different I don't know uh what I do know is it would be cool <laughs> It would be cool that if they had the Raging Blast 2 customization where you have your four attacks and you can basically set what those four attacks are going to be. Oh my god, he's right there. Oh, we lost, actually. I just realized. He doesn't know. He knows. All right. You win. 
Oh, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. Oh, hey, Frieza. Alright. <sighs> okay, well, at least I could bring the game volume back up. God damn it, man. Uh, what I do want to see is I want to see the customization. So basically, in Budokai Tenkaishiki 3, the difference between that and Raging Blast is Raging Blast, you could change what super attacks you had on your characters. Whereas Budokai Tenkaishiki 3, it was set, right? You had two supers and you had an ultimate, right? If I bring this back. Um, so, essentially, it was you, you know, Goku, right? Base Goku. You had Kamehameha, meter combination, and then his, like, super attack, his ultimate was, like, the spirit bomb, right? That was Goku, right? But in Raging Blast, it was different. He had an ultimate, which you, you know, you click down the C-stick to use, and then you had your four supers, which you could tilt the C-stick and or, you know, the, the right stick in any direction you want. And it would do that super attack. So, like, up would be Kamehameha, right would be Meteor Combination, down would be, like, Kaioken, and left would be Solar Flare, essentially, right? That's how it would be. But you didn't have to be that way. You could set up to be um, Kaioken Rush. Or you could set it to be Charge of Spirit Bomb. Or... Or you could set it to be instant you know, transmission. You know, like it, there was, there wasn't a set move list for characters. I would like to see that in Budokai Tenkaichi 4. I think that'd be a really good uh, system because I feel like it works a lot better than just having characters have set moves. Because uh, it just it allows you so much more customization, and it's just it, it makes for a lot more fun battles because you get to use your favorite moves on your favorite characters. Um, one thing that I, I do see already is we're probably going to have cutscene transformations. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Considering, I think the last game we got that in was what? Ultimate Tenkaichi. Because <laughs> it's like, we didn't have it in Fighters, technically. I mean, I guess Golden Freeze is in the game, but we really don't have it in Fighters. Um, don't have it in Xenoverse. Didn't have it in Battle of Z. Uh, we don't have it in Breakers. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess the last mainstream Dragon Ball game was what? Well, it was Tekaishiki. So, no, we don't. This is this is going to be new for us. Um, another thing that I kind of hope that they add is... Uh, what was it? I'm blanking now. Oh, I should have scripted it. I don't know. Um... I'll get back to it, but yeah, the, the super attacks would be cool. I remember now. Beam clashes. Bring Make back beam clashes. Alright, I guess we're just gonna fight Frieza's at Camp of Park. He's all day. Alright, that's great. It doesn't matter. Frieza, fuck Frieza. Or this is not the point of the video. We can complain all we want about the breakers. We're talking about the hype shit. Beam clashes. I want it back. I don't know how they do it. I want beam clashes back. I don't foresee Budokai Tenkaichi 4 being a competitive game. And I know for Xenoverse and Fighters, they like kind of meant for them to be competitive. So it's like they didn't have beam clashes because it was kind of just, it was either, you know, spin the stick or mash buttons, right? And for the old systems, it is kind of a, it is kind of different because in the olden days, the way it would work, Okay, and break that pot. Okay, well, there's nothing in it anyways. Uh, the way it would work is essentially uh, you spin the stick. That's yeah, not going to be how it is. I highly doubt. At, all games are just losing the, the spin. The spin, like, uh, thing. Because it fucks up your, your hand. Like, that's why they're all abandoning it. It's just, it's just a it's just a hazard, right? Like, Welcome. that is kind of why you games are abandoning that function. Oh. But, um... It's probably going to be button mashing, right? If I had to guess. Um, or maybe something different. But back in the day, hey, it used to be you'd spin the stick quick. and a number would build. 
And it was just as simple as whoever had the higher number won. I don't think that's how it's going to be. Because back then, it was like, if you were good enough, if you could spin the stick fast enough, you'd both get to 999, and then you'd be tied. Right? Which I guess is fine, but uh, they're probably not going to have that anymore. Now, they did have an animation for tying, of course. But are they still going to have it? I don't know. I'd like it. I think it thought it was always really cool. But uh, clashes in general would be really cool. I know... Okay, so this is, again, another Raging Blast pick, but they didn't have melee clashes. Or they, they did, but they didn't, right? You gotta beat it. Oh, we're getting this set free, so fuck you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, that was a close one. So. Uh, so, yeah, the, 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 like, the, the other thing I want from Raging Blast is melee clashes. Budokai Tenkaiski 3 technically had them. You never, you never saw them though. I don't, I don't truly, I really do this day. I still don't really know how you trigger them. But the way in Tenkaiski 3, the way it would work is you basically do like a flash. Like you'll be like basically clashing in air, right? We'll basically be like, you know, like popping up all over the place and doing clashes. And the way you did it is you had to press a button. Raging Blast had this concept. When you switched out, you were able to intercept. And if you intercept, then you would you would clash throughout the air, and then and then you would have a reaction. You'd both have a button. Whoever pressed the button first won that clash. It was basically quick time events. I highly doubt they're gonna have that. No one does quick time events anymore. It's kind of a dead concept. Um I mean, like, I know games still do it, but it's still, like, it's still kind of a dead concept. Like, like for real, though, uh, no one really, no one, almost no one really does it anymore. Um, but I would like to see, like, some, some type of clashing. The way Raging Blast did it. Oh, hey, Freezer. Alright, well, he's gonna chase me down until I die, so. <sighs> I love fighting freezes, man. escape this bastard um in raging blast 2 though it was more of a rapid clashing and it was just another spin stick so i highly doubt they're gonna do either but um the way that would work is basically like you know how when dragon ball characters are just kind of like trading blows it was kind of like that and then you know if you won the clash you would get a knockback essentially um it always was like a That's cool a thing, key. but I don't think it was. I don't. I don't know. I would like to see it, but they don't need to do it. You know. Oh, freeze! is gonna camp and see the rest of the game. Awesome. Um. Let me think. Are there? Is there anything else I really want to see? I mean, I obviously want the five v five mechanics to come back. Online would be cool. Crossplay. Games need crossplay. Like, it's just, it's just something that's just like. I feel like it's just a rule of thumb at this point. We need crossplay. Alright, well, now we gotta go set C. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm so excited for the game. This is something that, like, none of us could have really expected. Okay, he's setting it. He's setting it. Okay, well, if he's setting it. Alright. I think we'll be good. As long as he sets it. Are you gonna. Is he. Is it. Is 
he just standing there? Is he setting it? The startup okay. system for the super time machine is ready. Head there now. Um. Holy hell! Ah! All right. Well. Bastard! <laughs> this sucks. This sucks high amounts of ass. Um, it's so hard. It's so hard to be fighting a Frieza to concentrate on the game. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be so... It's going to be an amazing game when it comes out. I just, like... I, I, I have no doubt. I, the same. I think the same company's working on it. So it's just, like... I, I honestly, I, 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 I highly doubt they fuck it up. Not saying they can't. I just highly doubt it. Uh, how do I want to approach this? Freeze is gonna mow me down the moment I get close to him, and then that that won't be do of help. I have to wait for my grapple to come back, unless he starts blowing it up. No, I think he's just gonna get greedy. Yeah, he's just gonna get greedy. All right. I mean, if he wants to be greedy, that's fine. I'll go to the time machine. I'll send some supplies to and there's those supplies. <laughs> what the hell? Whoa. Where are these dropping? Where? Where's the other one? Oh, are you kidding me? It's right there. What the hell? It's a terrible place to put supplies. You're done. Okay. All right. Oh. All right. Okay. Now I'm being attacked on my Discord server. This is a terrible match. I guess we'll just focus on the match through the rest of the video. I got. I, I, I've explained what I want in the game. All oh, right, I forgot. Okay, I, I hate Frieza. Okay, I hate you. Well, we are gonna lose. No one else is helping, and that time machine's gone, so... Uh... I lo uh, it's just another Frieza game where the only way is to escape, so... Um... Yeah. Oh, he's... He's gonna blow it up, isn't he? Come on, just leave. Just leave. Just go. Just go. Just leave. He's not leaving. Sorry, my turn, my turn. My turn, he's gonna see me. I've sent the escape time machine. Use it to get out of there. Alright. Alright, I made it up. He, there's no way he's blowing up the area with that guy in it. Okay, I was about to say that was been a dick move. Uh yeah. I I owe you one. I'm incredibly excited for the game. I don't think there's anything else that I truly want. Uh, I think the super move customization would be my favorite uh, change that I'd wanna see in the game. Other than that, like, I mean, he's going to get you guys. I've sent the escape time machine. Use it to get out of there. Oh, he actually might not get him. Damn, that's crazy. Uh, that's my ideal change that I want to see. But I just, I'm a little, again, I'm just a little late, you know. I, I didn't feel like recording a video. I was tired. So, you're going to get this one today. Just a little bit all over the place because... Playing the breakers, especially against the freeze, that's hard. And I didn't. I probably should have just recorded the gameplay and then talked over it. That probably would have been better. But I feel like live, you know, live reaction commentary is what what the people want. They don't want no scripted bullshit. They want raw content. And that's what I'm giving to you. So uh, you're welcome. 
Anyways, I will probably, this will probably not be the last time I talk about this game, but I am beyond excited for Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai HQ 4, whatever they call it. I'm extremely excited, and I hope you guys are too. Other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Leave a like if you're excited. Subscribe. Just subscribe. I'll, I'll be playing it. I'll be playing it when it comes out. Hey, you, I'll be playing it. I'll be buying the DLC if they have it. Uh, I'm excited. Other than that, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.